Hey everyone, this is Brandon Bias from Chichicheka.com, here with another Photoshop tutorial. <laughs> I'm just messing guys, this is Eli, and hey, quit laughing if you're laughing, that's not funny. Brandon works very hard on these tutorials, and that intro is classic. So, stop. Any slut. Check it out guys, today, I'm filling in for Brandon because... Basically, he's out filming with Johnny Rock Page because Johnny's running for president and stuff. So, yeah. Um, but I'm here, and I'm sorry you guys have to suffer through one of my retarded tutorials. But, hey, at least you're getting a tutorial, right? And it's Tuesday. And uh, trust me, Brandon gets back tomorrow, and he will start making more tutorials. I'll start making more stuff, and we're just going to have a jolly old summer, and it's going to be great, okay? We love you guys. <laughs> All right, back to whatever we're doing. This is the effects we're learning today. It's actually pretty easy, but it looks so cool. Trust me, all the ladies will want you. And if you're a lady, all the ladies will want you, okay? Just trust me. I mean, look how cool this looks. Basically, we're just putting an image onto some aviators, making it look kind of cool. I mean, my Ray-Ban. Logo shine through. You can see a little bit of the gate, but I mean, it just looks more realistic that way. Then uh, make everything black and white. Put a little vignette on it, contrast it a bit, and it looks nice. And I know most of you guys can probably figure out this tutorial by yourselves. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to teach you my way and how I've been doing it. And about my desktop, leave me alone. I'm a filmmaker, all right? Get off my tail. <laughs> all right, so let's start with a blank canvas. Goodbye. Old buddy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a different image too. So go to where your images are. Mine are on the desktop. I'm going to be using this, uh, this cool royalty free picture of some island. And it's nice and blue and green. And it's beautiful and luscious. So I'm going to use that one. And then find the picture of you that you took of yourself. And uh, yes, we have really nice cameras. But for this effect, I figured that you guys would be taking a picture of yourself and doing it. So, hey, I wanted to join in the fun. And another thing, um, before you start, double click this little lock because most of the time that thing gets in the way when you're trying to edit it and stuff. It's weird. I don't know the technical name, Brandon could tell you, but hey, I just know. Click the little, double click the lock and hit OK. And now you can edit it all you want. All right, so for starters, we're going to need to mask off each one of these glasses. So go over to the pen tool which is this little button right here and uh, click the top one and you're just going to uh, use the pen tool to draw a nice shape around this now I'm gonna skip this and I'm gonna put a link to Brandon's tutorial on uh, really in-depth pen tooling like trust me like you don't want to learn from me I'm not very good look at that I just messed up right now I have to control control Z that but um yeah, if you want to learn more in depth about this, uh, Brandon can teach you really easy in a tutorial he already did, and I don't have to embarrass myself. All right, so I'm going to put a link to that, and I'm going to fast forward through me masking. I'm just masking off both these, okay? I'll bring you back in a second. Upon first glance, may look like a dance, but then you realize I got girls in my pants. I'm a cute boy, I'm straight romance. That's why I take my girls all the way to France. I'm a straight shooter with my three-point stance And then I pull them in with my dance trance I walk down the street with my swagger prance To enhance my chance of having girls in my pants Inside of my pants I keep my cash advance The next thing you know I got girls in my pants Girls in my pants Alright guys, welcome back I pants. hope you enjoyed girls, that girls little uh, retarded pants. song me and Trexton made Um, so yeah Now that you have these two things masked off, and it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. I mean, seriously, it's just, you're going to be overlaying it anyway, so, I mean, the little edges will fix themselves, okay? So, now we're going to take this picture, and I'm, I'm just going to double-click it. You don't need to, but I always do that anyway. And then you're going to hit V, the letter V on your keyboard, and that just brings up your Move tool. And you're going to click on the center of this image, drag it up to the other tab, and then drag it on top of your picture. Okay, so I know what you're saying, Eli. This looks great. Okay, and I'm I'm telling you right now, this is it's done. 
it's done. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm just messing, guys. Um, <laughs> it's not done at all. Okay, so um, you're going to want to put the opacity down and align the picture to how you want it to look in the glasses. Okay, so let's go uh, Control T with the layer selected, and now you can uh, Alt Shift it and you hold down alt and shift and then click and drag on the corner and it will make the image bigger or smaller and uh you know if you want you know more precise places you can put oh my goodness i'm so popular you can put you can uh, just duplicate this and do it twice instead you know because you're just going to be taking a little clip of each image but for right now i'm just going to grab it i'm, I'm going to do that I want that side of the image right there. I'm only to move it a little bit. All right, so I like how that looks right there. So I'm going to hit the check mark. Then I'm going to uh, click and drag the layer down to this little button down here. And that'll just make a copy of that layer. And now I can move that down there. And now I can. Oh, whoops, wrong layer. Now you're going to select the other layer and position it where you want it. You know what I mean? So let's just go control shift. I mean, keep it kind of the same because you want to create that effect like uh, like it's a mirror image that you're looking into a big image. You know what I mean? All right. So once you have both of those images where you want them, bring the opacity back up. And then uh, we'll just turn them off right now so I can show you this next part. So next, you're going to switch back to your pen tool, boom, and then you're going to select one of these, uh, wh whichever side you want to do first, okay, and then you're going to click this little gray box, okay, that just brings up the shape, like the, that you actually made the shape, you remember with the pen tool, so then you're going to right click in the middle of this thing, of the big black shape you made, and not racist, it just happens to be black, then you're going to Go down to make selection and then uh, we don't want any feather on it because we don't give a crap so okay and boom you get the little trail of ants going around that shape that you made so now that you have that trail of ants now you're gonna bring up the picture and then you're gonna hit control X and that just uh, copies and deletes that part of it and you're gonna hit control V and I know that there's a, a shortcut that perfectly does what I just did. I, I can't remember it though. It's like Control Shift J or something weird. Brandon taught me a long time ago, but I just can't remember it. I'm sorry, Brandon. I know you're gonna spank me later, but it's whatever. All right. So then, since it, you pasted it, it's gonna end up like over here. So you're going to want to move it back to where you had it, or where you want it really. Turn off that black shape. See it turned it off, and boom. There you have one eye done. So now let's do the other eye. Remember, you just select the gray part. You have to have the pen tool selected. Then you you right click in the middle of the black image that just happens to be black. You go make selection, zero feather, boom. Then you bring the image back up that you want. You select the image, control X, control V, Go back to your move tool, just hit V, put the image where you want it, turn off the old layer, and boom. Look at that. Now you have both of them in the picture, and it looks magnificent. But I know what you're saying. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete these two layers real quick, just because that's annoying, and we don't need them anymore. And I know what you're saying. It doesn't look realistic at all, Eli. You lied to me. I hate you. Well, you little angry person, select the layer that you want to make it look more real. Go up to this little blending mode, and then just scroll through the different blending modes until you find one that you like. I mean, there's a lot of different ones. Depending on the colors you have, uh, you can make it look more real or better. I really like hard light. Like Hard light always makes it look great. So I'm going to do hard light on this one too. And it keeps the ray band. And check this out, guys. Oops. 
Check that out. That looks so cool. I love how that looks. All right, so now that we have both of them looking good and, uh, and stuff, now you're going to select the image. You're going to go up to Layer, Adjustments, Desaturate. And that just brings more attention to the, the images in the glasses. And I just think it makes the whole picture pop a lot more and stuff. I think it looks really cool. But it still just looks too gray and stuff. I don't like that. So image adjustments, curves. Let's bring down the blacks a bit. And bring up the whites. Crush the blacks a little more. Crush the blacks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not racist. I, I'm actually part black, to be honest. So, I'm not racist. <laughs> then hit OK. And that already looks a lot better. And now, I guess the only thing left to do is to create a vignette. 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 I don't know how to say that. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I can't pronounce things when I'm under pressure. Okay. So, uh, let's create a new layer. Let's just move it to the top, because we can. And then uh, let's grab... E elliptical marque tool and let's start over here in the top of this corner drag down and just you know kind of get everything in the picture uh, make sure that your feathers set to a lot I took this picture with my iPhone and uh, so I guess like it's actually a pretty good image which is cool um, but if you took it with a like a less quality picture or something like that, you need to put the feather down a lot. But yeah, my iPhone's awesome. Everyone should get an iPhone. Seriously, it's amazing. So uh, let's select right here and go select inverse. And then let's uh, do an alt an alt backspace. That's the that's the shortcut to fill it in with black. So basically. Uh, I just selected the inverse because if you would have just hit alt backspace it would have just filled in the center part so selecting the inverse selected just this outer part and then alt backspace filled it in with a feather of 200 which gave it that soft look and uh, then you just hit control D to deselect it and if uh, that's not if you didn't get what you wanted really you can go up to here to filter and then you go to blur Gaussian blur and you can blur that even more but you know I, I, I like it a little more blurry so okay now let's go uh, soft light normally looks really good but I mean you could just you could check it out yourself you know go through them so, I, I like soft light the best so then boom there you go let's hit the well the heck let's go to move tool hit V and boom and uh, really if you like just this part of it you know you can you can uh, select it right here go into the rectangular marquee tool and let's say you only like this part of the image you can select that alright so you're going to go up to image crop and boom control D to deselect and boom there, there you have your picture I mean it's just as easy as that I mean, it looks great. All the ladies will be all over you. And now you can make that your Facebook profile picture. You can make that your Facebook timeline thingy. Anything you want. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry that you had to suffer through one of my retarded tutorials. I'm not that good at it. Um, but Brandon will be back tomorrow and he'll make a tutorial for Thursday just because you guys had to suffer through this. So be happy and please don't hate and if you made it this far I want you guys to comment saying you miss Brandon and that you want to see his nipples in the next tutorial alright I don't know why I just made that up but do it if you made it this far alright and don't forget to like and uh, favorite this it helps out a lot and um, yeah Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.